you're watching Big Explainer, the biggest explainer in the world. Due to its tolerance for sandy soil and low rainfall, it is an important crop in the semi-arid regions across Africa and Asia. A high level of morphological diversity is found within the species with large variations in the size, shape, and structure of the plant. The original subgroups of Stenophylla, Dickensiana, and Tenuis appear to be common in all taxonomic treatments, while the variations pubescence and protractor were raised to subspecies level by a 1993 characterization. Black-eyed pea, a common name used for the Inguiculata cultivar group, describes the presence of a distinctive black spot at the hilum of the seed. The size and shape of the leaves vary greatly, making this an important feature for classifying and distinguishing cowpea varieties. New research using molecular markers has suggested that domestication may have instead occurred in East Africa and currently both theories carry equal weight. The first written references to the cowpea were in 300 BC and they probably reached Central and North America during the slave trade through the 17th to early 19th centuries. Its nitrogen-fixing ability means that as well as functioning as a sole crop, the cowpea can be effectively intercropped with sorghum, millet, maize, cassava, or cotton. These characteristics, along with its low fertilization requirements, make the cowpea an ideal crop for resource-poor farmers living in the Sahel region of West Africa. The crop is mostly intercropped with pearl millet, and plants are selected that provide both food and fodder value instead of the more specialized varieties. Traditional methods of protecting stored grain include using the insecticidal properties of neem extracts, mixing the grain with ash or sand, using vegetable oils, combining ash and oil into a soap solution or treating the cowpea pods with smoke or heat. More modern methods include storage in airtight containers, using gamma irradiation, or heating or freezing the seeds. Temperatures of 60 degrees Celsius kill the weevil larva, leading to a recent push to develop cheap forms of solar heating that can be used to treat stored grain. Insects are a major factor in the low yields of African cowpea crops, and they affect each tissue component and developmental stage of the plant. Other important pests include pod-sucking